I call Fania Kapal. Kia ora na tato katoa. The issue that I wish to bring to the table today is the necessity for cultural preservation. The year was 1975 when a young couple came from the Cook Islands, left the white sandy beaches and palm trees to New Zealand with a dream to ensure that their descendants live in a country that provides them with all the best possible opportunities. And I'm proud to say that their dream came true. I'm sure that many, if not all, members of this house have similar stories in their heritage. I wish to raise today the necessity of cultural preservation because many ethnic groups call New Zealand their home. And if you take a look around the chamber, you'll see that I'm right. More specifically for our young youth MPs of Pacific Island descent, I would like to bring to the table the fact that we believe that today by dressing in cultural attire, we bring our families with us, and we think that's pretty cool, if you all agree. <laughs> the thing with this is we are trying to show solidarity because we feel that in this day and age we try to change the way we speak, the way we look, the way we dress in order to not be laughed at by society. And that happens a bit too much for us, specifically. We don't want to be seen as another statistic, but we wear cultural attire today so that you can look at us and see how many of us stand in unity with each other. The youth of today need to be reminded that their origins, whether it be from Samoa, Tonga, Fiji, China, India, Thailand, Finland, or even Croatia, is something to be proud of. We want the youth of New Zealand and Pacific Island youth, more importantly, to stop creating new dance trends or learning how to roundhouse kick the bottle cap off a bottle and speak to people immersed in culture and learn. Because you can walk out of here saying, my family were taro planters, but now we are policy advisors. We were coconut huskers, but now we are entrepreneurs. We went from saying yes when someone asked me what my name was, to saying, hey, here I am giving a speech in the debating chamber in parliament. Who would have thought? Show me the time of my life. Um, you see, your culture can take you places you've never believed. But if you do believe and you carry your culture, you carry your family, you carry your ancestry, it will take you places. Sorry. <laughs> um, basically, just through the whole youth in um, parliament, you have all been great. It's been great being here, talking to all of you, making new friends, forging those connections, and I hope that you hear what I have to say, what our Pacifica caucus has to say, and that you appreciate it, you take it on, and you learn from us, from the people around you. May um, takira nunui, thank you. Madam Speaker. I call Clement Kong. The topics of suicide and mental health seem to have been discussed over...